How many men have you been with? I'm not sure this is the woman is saying that 98% of married men have their own girlfriend. Please, I want to ask you, is that true? People can even have to ask him, where did you get your story from? Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Amala and this is just the right channel for you. If you're just joining me for the first time, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like my videos, turn on post notifications, and tell me something great at the comment section. to what I have for you guys today. It's the Big Brother and Joshua Eye reunion episode 11 and Ebuka had to start with Maria and Beatrice. So Ebuka played a short clip of where Beatrice was acting somehow weird. You know back then in the house Beatrice was this lady that was very very weird like she started like someone that's no normal. Sorry to say I'm not trying to insult you Beatrice I love you so much. But then she would just act as if she's not in the house like something is wrong with her sometimes they'll be in game together she'll just stand up and get angry with everybody in the house you know she would play pranks with all the housemates she was just very weird back then in the house so Ebuka had to ask most of the housemates what do you guys think about Beatrice back then in the house you know did you ever thought that Beatrice was a wild card you know with her attitude back then in the house and some of them were saying that they actually thought she is a wild card while some of them said no that she, they just saw it as a normal behavior Jerry's even said that Beatrice told him about how she went through a lot while growing up you know she was traumatized she had a very terrible situation while growing up so Jerry felt like since she already told him about her upbringing so he felt that maybe that's why she's basically like that maybe that's why she's this kind of person that acts a bit weird in the house and that actually got him interested in knowing more about her but the prank thing the prank thing is one thing that is so annoying and she enjoys doing it and that's the most annoying thing about it back then in the house yes we just tend to prank a lot of the housemates back then and it was actually really fun to watch it was so fun sometimes you act as if she's dead or she's not feeling fine or something is wrong with her and then all the housemates will be very very worried and before you know they start shouting big brother big brother something is happening to Beatrice so and then all of a sudden she would just stand up and act normal so that was who Beatrice was back then in the house so Ebuka asked Maria what do you think of Beatrice back then in the house and Maria was like, for her, she actually did not even notice that Beatrice existed back then in the house. That Beatrice was this person that tends to act very abnormal. She acts very weird. So, and they did not even have any relationship, no talk relationship. They were not close at all. So, um, she just did not really understand Beatrice's personality. Her personality was very, very confusing. So, she cannot really state, okay, this is who Beatrice was back then in the house so Ebuka has talked to Beatrice Beatrice what was it for you back then why were you doing all the things that you were doing back then in the house and Beatrice was like she was just basically having fun especially with the prank videos she was just um, really really enjoying herself and if they had given her more time she would have more showcased herself more that she likes to prank people a lot and pranking people Beatrice don't be pranking people I don't think it's a good thing to be pranking people because the day you'll be serious like seriously sick they will think you're just pranking them and they will not take you seriously so I think you should reduce the rate at which you prank people it's not so good like that okay so um she now said that she doesn't like Maria <sighs> she said she doesn't like Maria actually that she and Maria are no friends at all that she doesn't actually like Maria for some reasons best known to her she said she doesn't like Maria I don't know why she doesn't like Maria I don't know because she couldn't really state why she doesn't like Maria I don't know what Maria did to her but she said she doesn't like Maria when she said she doesn't like Maria Maria got really angry and before you know it they started insulting each other uh, Maria said she has inferiority complex she was so angry with Maria and then she wanted to slap Maria she actually stood up she wanted to slap Maria yeah she wanted to actually slap Maria and so the crew had to like drag her out for like a few seconds then they brought her back to the show so they still kept on insulting each other she even said that Maria has a smelly foul mouth and um, Maria said she doesn't have morals that she, she doesn't have morals how can she come on national TV and wants to fight her I feel like she trying to fight Maria like trying to want to slap Maria was so unnecessary it was so unnecessary because I don't know why she doesn't like Maria actually I really don't get it they did not really have any altercation in the house so I don't know why she doesn't like Maria now gets to a point whereby they want to fight so she said she's angry because 
she, so she says she's very angry because Maria says she has a purity complex. And Maria says she has a purity complex because she says she doesn't like Maria. So that actually really caused a lot of bad goods between both of them. I've really been waiting for this reunion and finally it is here. And seeing Maria and Beatrice giving each other insults. Fishing, 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 fishing. Maria said that she came with strategy to reunion. I don't know that they distracted you reunion. But Beatrice, it wasn't it wasn't necessary, like trying to want to slap Maria was necessary. Please just be calming down, okay? Just take it easy. Take it easy. Fetchy, calm down. And so that you don't have high blood pressure. Be calming down, okay? So Ebuka had to go straight to Tega and Mr. Boma Okro. Mr. Boma's matter. So Ebuka played clips of where Tega and Boma had their very awesome moment. I call it awesome because I don't want to use words that are not nice on my on my channel or should i call this romantic moment because was it romantic was it romantic okay so we had this impression of tega is a married woman before she went into the house she made us all understand the fact that she's married right so now seeing her doing all those all those things that she did with boba kissing touching smooching doing some things under the duvet you know doing a lot of things under the duvet it was surprising to us like a lot of us felt like ah, how can a married woman be doing all these things with Buma? you claim you are married why are you trying to show us because we, we are it's really confusing so if we had to ask the housemates what, what do you guys think about this Otega and um, Buma's matter and Jacqueline was like for her she actually did not agree that they were married because immediately she she actually saw the way they were back then at the house so why in her mind it's like no this should be a strategy for Tega. Tega is not married and prior to said she never believed that Tega was married from the onset she never believed Tega was married so some of them actually thought that it's strategy why some of them actually felt like she's married but why would she be doing that kind of thing like it's especially michael michael was even like because Ibuka actually asked michael first michael was like to him it felt like for a married woman to be doing that with a man that means it's adultery like it's not a nice thing to do but the adults actually they are growing up so whatever they want to do they should do but obviously we all know that it's the right it's a, it's a wrong thing to do you're a married woman you can't be sleeping with a man right so ebukana asked boma boma your relationship back then with tega what was this for you? Was it a normal, normal boomer or cross thing that you were doing with Tega too? Because we knew what you were doing back then in the house. Was it that kind of relationship you were also having with Tega? And he said, for him, Tega was just his very close friend. They understood each other and it was all crude. We were just actually playing game. The friendship was genuine, but that's all, you know, you know what I mean? The old ship, ship, ship. <laughs> The whole something, something going on under the duvet is all strategy, it's all game. Like she said, it was like um, they already knew that he would use one week with one girl, so he says, like, you know, increase the week and try to make himself unpredictable because Pereira calls him the unpredictable guy. So he wanted to show them that I am truly an unpredictable woman. So that was what he was doing back then in the house, so it wasn't really something really serious. So Ibuka asked Tega, 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 what was it for you? No even whether you were married. Tega said that um, first of all, um, she actually is separated and she, she got separated 2020. I think that's like a year before that season, right? That's like a year before that season. She got separated 2020 and then went to the house with the mindset of I am separated. But when she got into the house, she saw J Paul. I think they knew each other from outside. And then she had to like change the narrative and then just made it look like okay, she's actually really truly married. That was what she said. I don't know why you would do that. You are separated, you are separated. Stick to the facts. So she now said that she had to make it look like she's married. But somehow, somehow the game thing came up. She played a game squarely with Buma and it was all game. Or cruise basically Ebuka said were there any regrets at all because looking at the way people actually took the old matter were there any regrets and she said she actually regretted it she should have just stick to the narrative she had from the beginning as being separated she should have just stick to the fact from the beginning and yes you should have just stick to the fact from the beginning stick to the fact 
if you had gone into the house with the narrative of you as separated, people would have still, you know, tried to even probably maybe like you more. Probably you have stayed back in the house more. So I don't know why she had to, you know, change it because of someone else. I think she should have done it. Call Jay Paul separately and talk to him and tell him, okay, this, 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 that, though. Please don't leave my secret outside. I know I'm separated, but keep this to yourself. And that is it. But she had to change the narrative and make everything all messed up for her. And then she came out of the house. People were saying all sorts of things about her. Social media was banging because of Boma and Tega, Boma and Tega marriage. You know. So Ebukana asked um, Tega, was there a time where you had feelings, like feelings for Boma? And she said, no, it was all cruise. It was all cruise. It was all game. And, you know, Boma did not pass the boundary. It was all game. And that's it. And Ebukana asked Boma, any regrets at all? And Boma was like, okay, for him, yeah, he was naive. What kind of naive is that? You are you are a grown up man. Grown up man. In your 30s, I say you are, you are, you are, you are, you are naive. Naive go. And some things he did was not right. Uh, he would have probably take some things back. So, and he has actually apologized. He has, he has apologized. He has apologized. Oh my God, no! What you can do about it? He now said something that got me angry. He said that um, ninety-five percent later, he said ninety-eight percent of married men have girlfriends. That's true. You cannot come and give us more nonsense theory because you are cheating or because you are doing what is not right it doesn't mean everybody's doing what is not right so please don't don't be saying that don't say that abby what do you think drop your comment at the comment section about this matter. let me hear your thoughts about it okay that's all i have for you guys tonight i'm hoping in the next episode we get to see Terra and maria that's good i love you guys see ya bye